as Black History Month winds down, eighth graders here at North Bergen's Robert Fulton School learned about the significant contributions made by African Americans over the course of history in a very unique way. Think of it as a living museum. Students dressed as prominent African Americans throughout history. They researched their accomplishments, created poster boards with questions, and answered those questions for 6th and 7th graders. Uh, from categories such as science, literacy, athlete, entertainment, the arts, political, historical, they did some biographical research on these individuals. There's about 158 graders participating in this today, and they're just able to bring these people to life. Um, it's good because they're getting um, submersive in their history, the challenges that these people faced, um, just showing what excellent Americans um, they are and how successful we are as a nation because of them. Walking around the gym, history came to life. There was Isabella Santiago portraying Harriet Tubman, an abolitionist and social activist who escaped slavery and helped rescue 70 other enslaved people. It's different when instead of hours of just sitting at a desk, you actually get to do something hands-on, and which is what our school does a lot of the time, where we get more projects, we get to build posters, and sometimes we even get to work together in creating these things, questions, answers, studying, and it's just an overall fun thing to do, especially when learning. If sports is your thing, there was plenty. Jackie Robinson, Willie Mays, Muhammad Ali, Simone Biles, and so many more, including Newark's own Shaquille O'Neal. Before he did the NBA draft, he made a promise to his mom, saying that after the NBA, he will go back to college to return to, to his education and finish it. From the world of entertainment, I came across Louis Armstrong. So he inspired me to play the star playing the trumpet. So he was a very big per, uh, person in my life. Like, inspires Specifically, me. what did you learn about Louis Armstrong that you may not have known? That he really was like, I knew this before, but he, he really was like the founding father of jazz. Like, he really built like, the, the steps for other jazz musicians to come. This was certainly a creative exercise for the 8th grade class to learn about the importance African Americans have played throughout history. From the Robert Fulton School in North Bergen, reporting for Hudson TV, I'm Jeff Hennig.